Hello, everybody. Uh, just a, hopefully a quick conversation with you. Of course, I always say quick and it winds up going way too long. But first and foremost, um, doing the best I can here. I, I, I think I'm getting sick. I'm freezing right now. Um, throat is sore. Head is pounding. Uh, sinus is starting to stuff up. But uh, you know what? I just got to be a man, and I've got to I've got to tough it out. That's all I can do. So hopefully it won't uh, curtail any uh, uh, any more uh, video making for a day or two. Hopefully I can stay at it. Um, I also want to uh, thank a thank a few subs for their support. Rice Punisher, Nat Brown, Daniel. Those are three of three that uh, will leave comments and give me thumbs up and encourage me, and I, I greatly appreciate it. And um, Nicole Hervo, uh, don't think she's a sub. She might be, but she just commented in my last video about uh, 2018 being a, a significant year for earthquakes, and she made some very good points there. I, and I want to thank her for those. Uh, she's a she's a fan of Dutch Sense, and Dutch Sense is is a is a gentleman that uh, knows earthquakes. Uh, can predict them uh, through through scientific analysis. Uh, you've probably heard of him. You probably have checked out his work. It's uh, it's exceptional. Um, so why am I here with this video of Christmas? Very quickly, I want to make one comment on Christmas. Yeah, Christmas can be a pagan holiday, absolutely. But uh, if you keep Christ first in Christmas, uh, then it's still Christmas. Now, don't forget, it's Christmas. It's uh, it's a celebration of His birth. Uh, if you don't give over to the to the pagan uh, uh, excessive gift giving, I, I guess I don't know if pagan's the right word, but uh, the commercialization. Okay, and maybe it became a pagan holiday uh, potentially decades, if not centuries ago. But keep Christ first. Keep Christ in Christmas. Keep him first, and it will always be Christmas. It's it's in your heart. It's in your heart. And if he's in your heart, it's Christmas every day. It doesn't involve giving gifts and uh, drinking um, hot beverages. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I need some hot beverages. I'm going to have some coffee here in a minute. Anyway, before I go, folks, uh, now that I've given a few shout-outs to, to the folks I just mentioned and... Uh, been having a lot of uh, a lot of strange dreams, uh, and I and again, you know, I come on once in a while. And I talk about my feelings, things I things I feel might happen, and you know, I I get some nasty comments, basically telling me I'm full of crap in some cases. And but that's fine, you know. There's a lot of people on YouTube that will disagree with me. It's okay. It's all right. I still love you anyway. <laughs> but uh, um, have it have an odd feeling about this coming week. Maybe nothing will happen at all. Again, I I am sensitive. I am sensitive. I I hope I hope it's a Holy Spirit thing. I pray that it is sensitive to things. Um, I sometimes know I'm going to meet people before I meet them. I, I get a I get a snap image of them. Uh, if if I'm introduced to somebody or if I encounter somebody on a sidewalk or in a store, sometimes I see them before I've ever seen them. If that means anything to you. But um, I, I have a. I've been dreaming of a breaking news story where I'm actually watching television, and the, it's it's a, you see a a breaking news graphic pop on. I don't know what channel it is. I don't think I'm watching a news program. I don't watch much mainstream television news, obviously, because most of it is just is just basically feces. It's just. It's just a um, an entertainment uh, source for people to quickly ingest what the television talking heads tell them, and usually it's biased way way to the left. Uh, it's usually uh, it's usually to to serve an agenda. There's right wing media as well, and I don't really care for that either. Um, I, I I like media that tells me the truth, that shoots me straight, and that's very much lacking anymore. I saw in this breaking news a. But it looked like a fire on a skyline, and then it panned up to outer space, and it was not outer space, but this night a night sky, lots of stars, and maybe something shooting through the sky. I don't know if it was a missile, or I don't know if it was an asteroid, but I but they first panned the actual live movement of this thing, and then they were showing still shots of it afterward. 
and there was a there was a panicked female voice and then it cut to a different source with with a the female voice was was not uh, not speaking english but then a male voice was don't know what it means but i just i keep thinking about that i've been dreaming about it i've been dreaming about just this basic fog of deception i mention it all the time yes i got to put the plug in it's it's in the new book of mine my most recent book fortress of wayfarer story which i still encourage you to check out the fog of deception uh, the feces hitting the fan. We we expect that it's going to be very visible with lots of explosions, maybe a, an EMP attack, grid, a, a significant grid down, internet down. But consider again, as I've mentioned before, that it is hitting in the initial stages, and it's it's things we can't necessarily see on the surface. It's as much supernatural as it is natural. It's uh, powers, principalities, rulers of dark places. Angels and demons. Okay, maybe you think, again, I'm full of feces, but just consider that. Varying levels of SHTF. We are in the initial levels right now, which are not so visible to us. Maybe you disagree. That's fine. That's just that's just my view on it. But let me know what you think. Do you, do you feel like we're, in the comments section down there, do you feel like we're on the verge of something major, something significant, Maybe something that we don't expect. Maybe something that we don't necessarily see, but we feel happening. Um, are you dreaming about anything? Are you having an interesting dreams? Do you feel the Holy Spirit speaking to you in any particular way? You know, I know I'm, I'm leaving myself wide open to a lot of interesting comments, I know. and um, but, but that's fine. Go ahead and let me know in the comments section what you think, folks. What do you think is going on? What do you think is about to happen? All right, I'm going to get some more hot beverage. I feel like crud. I appreciate you listening to me. Um, now I'm getting too warm. <laughs> this is Jim signing off. And again, I got to put the plug in. The book is linked below, Fortress. There's also a free read of Chapter 1. And before I go, read Chapter 1. It, it's really neat. You're going to meet Dave Jameson, who is uh, an indie news reporter. He's he, You might liken him a bit to Tim Poole. Tim Poole was kind of a loose inspiration for this character. Dave's different, though. He's a different personality. He's a little more a little more rough around the edges. But uh, you'll meet him. Check it all out below, folks. There's music down there, too. I appreciate you. You've hung with me almost seven and a half minutes. God bless you, and I will see you soon.